Hello and welcome back to another video. We're going to take a look at 3D Generative AI applied on the Cebalos. So this is the Dacian King. So if you are not familiar with the Cebalos, we see that um, this was the last Dacian King and he is famous for fighting three wars against Roman empires under two emperors. So one of the emperor was Domitian and the second emperor was Trajan. We also see over here on the column of Trajan that the Cebalos appears several times and we see that he appears over here within those scenes. Within the last one um, he's presented when he committed suicide so that he won't get caught by, by Trajan. So this is a short overview regarding the Cebalos and why this is important. Now let's take a look at the generative AI. So as you can see over here we have um, a sculpture, a bust, and this is the first model version. We're gonna take a look, we're gonna see how model version 1 recreated it based on that photo. So over here we have um, a hole in his chin, so not very accurate, but overall the shape of, um, of the head is quite well defined. So keep in mind that this was model version 1, the debut uh, version of Common Sense AI Machine. Afterwards we have the version 1.1. As you can see this, uh, let's say, it should generate better textures. But the main uh, disadvantage of 1.1 is that it will also alter the model. So since this is generative AI, in some cases it is intended to add. So it won't be exactly as within the reference. But as we can see, the model is far from, um, from that, from the Cebalus. We see the famous hat, completely different over here. So this has, let's say, other um, influences regarding his look. Let's take a look at the following model, which is this one. So we see this is 1.2 turbo. And we see over here again for the head, so it still has those, um, let's say, hallucinations, or they are called within Common Sense AI, where they add various textures on the model. So let's take a look at also 1.1 without Turbo, which is this one. And if you're going to take a look, we're going to see how uh, weirdly textured his, um, his head is. Is over here so we have this um, similar to some tiles and overall let's say the the shape of the face is quite uh, quite well defined we see that the details regarding his uh, left ear are quite quite different we see the profile of the nose and let's take a look at the last model so this is model 1.3 this is their latest version and we see that this has improved texture alignment um, and also HD textures. So as we can see this is the final model. We see over here for the head this is pretty well defined. Afterwards if you're going to take a look at the, the eyes, the mouth, so they are quite um, quite decent. You also see the shape of the ear a little bit different over here, but overall I'm pretty impressed with, uh, with, the, with the quality of this model. Let me show you also within Blender. So this was version 1.0, so the first version. Again, the model is pretty good, especially for the head shape. Also we see over here the details. The only drawback is over here that um, in the middle of the the chin, the model has a, has a hole. Also, if I will remove that uh, texture, we're gonna see how low poly all these are. So uh, maybe in terms of no texture, this model is the best um, 
shaped and defined overall we see the profile of the of the nose for the eyes over here for the head we see this turbo version so it has quite a lot of blob elements and also model version one is quite uh, good in my opinion if you take a look over here just uh, it has that those overall problems over here with the beard but model version 1.3 let me also enable light within the scene this is also quite uh, quite well defined even though a lot of the details are within the texture this uh, model also has a larger texture than the other ones if you're going to take a look at the file size so all these have been exported as uh, glb files if i'm going to go to downloads they will be over here so we see mesh one two three four five and this is the last one which is model uh, version 1.3 we see the file size more than uh, let's say almost double the previous one and the vast uh, majority of that is within uh, the albedo texture that we have over here as you can see the unwrapping we look like this but this um this image is quite um, quite detailed compared to the others. If I'm gonna go over here within the UV editing and I won't have anything selected. If I'm gonna save this image, so let me just rapidly save this over here. So I'll call this albedo PNG. And I will go and um, search for that. So let me just go to the desktop albedo png which is this one we see that this has four megabytes and um, it has a um, 2000 by 2000 pixel so for the width and height so somewhere around four mega pixels over here okay so i'm really curious what is your opinion which is the best model version for uh, common sense ai in my opinion the initial one has some quite good uh, details over here but model version uh, 1.3 overall has managed to do the best uh, for this maybe over here uh, we have some big shadows that um, overall increase the let's say the visuals with textures but if I were to go and uh, maybe start sculpting, it would be better to, to use this one. So let me just apply a subdivision for this one. And we're going to see how those, um, how those will change. Now, regarding all the specification of your computer, a subdivision level 2 will apply it a bit faster than, than on my PC so we have that let me re-enable the texture but now the texture should be rebaked as we can see it will have um, some gray areas where we see the mesh was um, okay so it was a little bit weirdly subdivide let me try also with subdivision simple and see if that will be a little bit better yeah, and we see that with the simple it is a little bit better and overall i think that uh, a subdivision would um, would highly increase this so if i will just disable this let's see enabled and disabled so within real time We see over here, for example, for the eye, so we disenabled. Okay, so this was Common Sense AI Machine approach at recreating the last Dacian king, the Chabalos. Let me know in the comment section what is your opinion regarding this. And also, if you tried Common Sense AI Machine tool or any other 
similar tools, let me know in the comment section since uh, I would like to test other, um, other tools like this. So that's it. Thanks for watching.